stoned as fuck brain right now is really enjoying the mental stimulation of like not looking at the walkthrough to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Alright, what am I doing here? Now if I jump onto that, I will slide. But there's nothing else to jump onto. I wonder how long this episode's been already. <laughs> I did want to at least do one proper level tonight, even if it takes me hours. I was assuming I could not do a thing that I actually can do. Um, which would be this. I, for some reason, just did not realize. And for some reason, I thought a boulder was going to fall. Okay, so we're going to pull up in here. Oh, it's a secret! Okay. That's why I was having a hard time with it. Uh, it it's not actually... Secrets are optional, right? Secrets are like bonus parts of the level. You do not have to do them to, to win. So, I'm sitting here trying to figure out, um, they're usually harder to figure out, so... Then, you know, the, the correct path forward is usually easier. Um, whatever you gotta do in, in these older games, um, to progress towards the end of the level, um, is almost exclusively easier. There may be crocodiles about. What in St. Nicholas? Oh, it's like a giant sombrero. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I... Uh, my lucky stars. What a fashion. What a feeling. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Look, there's another. Oh, that one's alive! Oh! <laughs> I don't even want to kill that one. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I need a moment. Oh my word. <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> or madam. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I love it. I want a plushie of that. <laughs> I exactly like that with the pixels, with the polygons. Oh, <laughs> everyone talks about early PS1 Tomb Raider's pointy boobs, but nobody talks about styrofoam alligator over here. Mr. Styrofoam, the alligator, for the laugh. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a lap and, and cool my brain a bit. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How we doing there? How we doing there, Governor? Um, my goodness, absolutely stunning, a masterpiece of cinema. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a moment to figure out where to go here because uh, I've gotten quite lost, as you might imagine. <laughs> okay, I think I understand what's going on here. <sighs> I would not be this quick to look through the walkthrough. Um, were I not this stoned? But I'm quite, quite high. So, <laughs> um, I don't even know what all this is going to sound like. Maybe, maybe someone will find it funny. Because <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> Ooh, mercy, I'm yawning. Mr. Styrofoam, the alligator. Infinitely more preferable to the company of Mr. Pierre. The bitch. <laughs> You're supposed to swan dive onto it. Oh, this will be great. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Just a sec. Let, let's uh take a nice deep breath. <laughs> of course not. Yeah. Walk to the edge forward walk one step back. Oh go 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 go. Okay, okay. Okay, I just I just misread. My goodness, how in the hell? <laughs> what? Did y'all see that that stunning feat of display? <laughs> okay. Uh, now we are going to give it the hippity hoppity up here. There we go. Now we are moving on. Uh, Our words are backed with nuclear weapons. Um, what have I got on me? 29 shells, 600 of those. I personally prefer to... Um, I think, I think guides will say to use your shotgun on bosses. Oh, hey, there's another one. What are y'all doing over here? Those are some big ass gators too. But honestly, I think Lara's kind of small. Uh, I don't, I don't think Lara's very tall at all. I think she's, um, you know, only like five and a half foot tall or so. So to her, asshole. To her, um, those gators probably seem that big. I don't know if I can get that metal, uh, big pardon, metal door there. Oh, there's a switch here too. Good. <laughs> Not much sense in using the shotgun on a rat, really. Oh, oh, I'm glad I didn't run forward, doggone. OK, 
Okay, so we've got to... Oh, I'm an idiot. I am a damn fool. I should have just jumped. Standing jump. Oh, got it. Alright, how far back is this gonna set me? Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay. We'll get to watch that wonky swan dive again. Watch this. Watch when she, like... She's to... She's to post... To swan dive, and then she, like... Does a little roll. You know? That is just bizarre looking. What, a, what an odd... It's not even... Like, yes, it's a glitch, but it's not... Because she's doing what she's supposed to. Alright, uh, so I don't need to grab that crevice there. Because the grab grabbing the crevice is what you're supposed to do. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna save. There, that's how you're supposed to do it. And then you can run around here. Get your guns out. Pop these rats. There we go. You know, I just started thinking about, um... <clears throat> um... Gunfire in a narrow stone tunnel like that. The, the ricochets. The, uh, the little, like... When the bullets, uh, impact the stone, they're, they're gonna kick off little tiny flecks of stone. Um at a really high velocity, you know? And those are gonna hit you. They're gonna be hitting your legs and everywhere that's exposed. Okay, just had to take a little break there. Um, shit, now where was I? I, you know, there's something to be said for, uh, Playing games like this... What is over there? Hang on, I need to explore this room a bit. Um... Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. Um... Playing older games like this where the graphics are all kind of, like, not great and you have to, you know, look at stuff and use your imagination uh, to make up for the fact that, you know, the graphics are all really low quality and these days we have much better graphics and everything looks a lot better and more high fidelity, you know? Um... But there's something to be said for playing a game like this when you're freaking, you know, doing edibles or whatever. Because I don't know what this switch does, but I'm going to pull it. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, do I know where that is? I just almost killed myself. Let's fix. Oh, it's right in front of me. Awesome. I'm just going to use this half one. Actually, that might have been a good time for a whole one, but, you know, whatever. I've got plenty of them. I like to think, also, that Laura's not actually carrying, you know, 20 of those things on her person, but rather is carrying, like, uh... You piece of shit. Now is the time to use the big one. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, the numbers on the med picks, uh, med med picks, med, the first aid kits. Um, to me, they do not represent that she's carrying like twenty of those things around with her, but rather usage. You have. You have a small one with supplies in it to heal half your health. And you have a large one with supplies in it for full health. And um, the supplies only last as long as you have uh, that number in your inventory. So it's the same med pack the whole time. You're just, um, you know, the more you find med packs on the ground, the more use you're getting out of them. Um, so, you know, honestly, I think Anniversary made this, uh, level easier. Oh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's Mr. Styrofoam. 
How are we doing? Good, sir. And then I'm trying to figure out where these silver keys go. This one? Yep, alright, cool. Remind me to save here. I don't want to only record a bunch of really boring footage that's difficult to, to edit and tedious to sift through because, uh, because, you know, I just was stuck or was wandering around trying to figure out something or, or like, I knew I was in the vicinity of a secret but, like, couldn't quite figure out how to get it. Couldn't quite figure out how to make a particular wonky-ass Tomb Raider jump because there are some wonky ones. Like, you saw that one with the ledges earlier. Um, yeah. Weird Tomb Raider physics at its finest. The way she just, like, did a swan dive to roll for that, but then just, like, landed standing up, you know. That's a very, very classic example of Tomb Raider physics in action. Trying to do things that you, um, you know, thought you could do. Something tells me I'm about to encounter Pierre. No Pierre, huh? Fascinating. Um, okay. So... Oh, I see what I gotta do, okay. So there's a door up here. And there's a... It's like a monkey over there. Look, there's a monkey over there. Let's go fuck him up. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Well, since I'm up here, not much sense in uh, wasting shotgun shells on an enemy that can't even reach me. I do seem to remember saying something about the AI in the Tomb Raider games uh, being fairly stupid, but they do have this brilliant thing where if they realize they can't get you and you can just sit there and shoot at them, they'll try to break line of sight so you can't shoot them. a room full of, uh... Okay. Okay. I see what I'm dealing with. Movable blocks here? Why are there movable blocks here? I hope I don't have to move them very far. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and break some of these. So I bet all these have spikes in them. Yeah, wait, these first two don't have spikes. That one does. Oh. Well, why don't they... Yeah, look, that one had spikes, too. That one does not. That's just, a uh, rubble. Wait, 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 wait. 
I knew I saw something weird in this one. guys are tough. <laughs> Got more lines? The noises, the, the ambient noises that I keep hearing. Anything else in this uh, room? What is this dark? Oh, this leads on to the... Um... That leads on to that balcony there. Okay. Anything over here? No? Alright. So back down we go. It almost sounds like someone's taking a shower. Yay, we're done. <laughs> she screamed. <laughs> 